In this lecture, we'll be discussing about inline templates and X templates. So, an inline template is a special attribute which, when present on child component, the component will use its inner content as its template rather than treating it as distributed content. This allows more flexible template authoring. So here if you see we have our app header and inside that we have defined some content. We have even made use of slot over here. Now what we'll try to do is we'll remove a couple of things to make it look simpler. So let's say we have this paragraph in our app header. Now if I go here and add an attribute, let's call it as inline template, then whatever content we have as a template defined in app header.view file, which you see over here, this all will not be rendered. Instead, only thing that will come as an output is this two paragraph tags. Let's go ahead and see it now. And the only constraint that we have to follow is that the inline template that you will be having should only have one parent tag. So there you go. You can see that it's only showing these two paragraph tags. This is some original content. This is some more original content. And these are the only two things that we have mentioned over here. The rest of the template that was defined in app header.view file is ignored altogether. So the only drawback of this which we can see is it makes the scope of your template harder to reason about and as a best practice we prefer defining templates inside the component using the template option that we have shown over here but this is another way and it might come in handy in some places when you are developing your application now next is X templates so one we have seen over here that we can add it as a attribute for the child component. Now the X template is used as a script. So you can define the template inside of a script element with the type text forward slash X template. And then you can refer to that template by an ID. Let's take an example now. So here you can see that we have this script tag. The type is mentioned as text x template id provided to it as my x template. Then the content inside it is a paragraph tag which contains x template text. Here you can see that I've created another div which will be actually rendering this template. Now in our main.js file I've created another view component. The element to which it's referring is the my template div over here in index.html and the template is coming from the my X template script that we have defined over here. Now if I execute this one, you'll see both the components getting rendered. There you go. The X template is coming up over here. Now the usage or the usefulness of X template is for demos with large templates or in extremely small applications. Otherwise it should be avoided because the separate templates from the rest of the component definition.